Shalom to everyone. Uh, today's information is about chemtrails again. Uh, I I'm going to put this up sometimes when I hear ignorant statements. So I actually heard an ignorant statement about chemtrails do not affect nature or plants and trees and things of that nature. That's entirely false and it's unlearned and it's unresearched. A person that says that said that did not research at all. Of course, I'm not going to put out the person's name or information. All right, so that's that's asinine. First of all, you have to really pay attention to the trees. All right, if you got if just for estimate's sake, if you got a hundred trees, matter of fact, just if you got ten trees, you're going to see at least three of them die in your, in front of you within a whole season. Uh, uh, I would say within the two year period. All right, it may be a little shorter time than that now. Um, I was on the train earlier, uh, and I seen. I mean, you know how it is on a train. You'll see a bunch of trees both left and right of you, and I was looking towards the left, and I like, man, is every time I would see every other tree, it was almost like, maybe. Even though when you look at it abroad, it looks green, but then when you look at the bark, the bark or the branches, you see the little brown leaves. They're dying off. Okay, this world is over. This, it's, 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 it's very close. All right. If you hear someone say that it's those that aluminum and that barium, and the, and and that the less, you know, first of all, we're getting less rain now. Even though we get big dumps and then that's it. That's that's not really that that does a little. But that barium and aluminum is affecting the soil. It is affecting crops. It is affecting the, the, the birds, the trees, insects, um, bees, flies, everything. And I guess this could be comical. I seen this weird squirrel digging, digging in the trash. And I'm looking at this thing. I'm like, and I'm, he's looking at me trying to crawl out of this, the dumpster. I'm like, man, don't you supposed to be, you know, I, hey, I'm a little weird. I, I speak to him just like they can understand me because I believe they can. I'm like, man, don't you supposed to be eating acorns and, and, and berries and nuts and stuff? And he made a little weird noise and ran off and went in the tree somewhere. I'm like, he know he was I'm like, what is that? It's almost like they got a personality personality disorder what are you a raccoon or something like you know, some kind of beaver no nah, nah, man get your behind in the tree and eat some but it could be a lack of food the trees are not producing enough nourishment so that's another thing you know what i'm saying people don't know what they're talking about they're not really paying attention they're just out there thinking because they're not being affected at the time that nothing is going on it is it's a lot going on like floor fluoride doesn't really bother you you know, within maybe two years or three years, but just keep just keep using it. You'll see brown little blotches here and look white, dull spots in your teeth. Yeah, it just they do it slow. They're not gonna do it like it's not it's a it's it's a time release death to mankind. It's 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 a bioweapon, it's weaponized chemicals on a very slow processing level it's not something that's going to happen overnight all right so that's what we got to realize you know what i'm saying people were just getting it twisted and if you look at the trees you, you know you're going to see and don't just look at the leaves okay because people say well it's close to autumn nah and nah well during autumn time you can still do it because the bark of the tree should not be dead looking okay the, the branches are, are brownish dead like they're hollow inside and the, the trees the leaves should not look like cicadas been eating them up all right and it's a lot of them like that it's not all of it because you, when you look at it from afar of course it's going to look all green but then when you start looking in between when your eyes are open you'll be like hold up that tree did that tree did that tree did that tree like what? Then you'll see 
all the trees that's dead opposed to all the trees that live and we are so used to, or are against which is a good thing to an extent but you got to open your eyes you know it's this world man it's, it's real it's real crazy um it's it's, it's, it's real i don't want to say crazy but it's it's an eye opener you see what i'm saying when you when you look at certain things with differently you'll see the big picture like like if you look at a forest it looks fine but when you look at the certain like hold up that tree is leaning towards that one a little more than this like what's wrong with the soil you start paying attention and that's what it, that's what that aluminum and barium with your chemtrails are doing all right so it's and it's dulling us down mentally uh those of us that are in scripture um you know as you see you know i, I make sure there's a, enough light around you make sure you get a, enough spectrum of light uh and that's the main thing you know if you have to take vitamin d uh D3 is the best. Um, matter of fact, you just go to the dollar store and I think it's called Nature Something. Um, that works very well. All right, I'm not I don't I'm not promoting them. I don't have no stock with with them at all. But of course, I will promote that. It's it's good. It's almost like a gel pill. So I mean, if you have issues with with you know swallowing a pill or whatever, that you shouldn't have an issue with that. All right, and uh, it's like I say it work. And that's that's another thing. You know. The foods are not giving out the, the right nourishment for the brain. That's why it's more demon possession. All right, I was actually watching a video um, that was published or uploaded in 2012 when this guy went to this convenience store and he opened up one of the, I guess, refrigerators and a spirit came out of it, possessed him and took over his body and he fell dead and you can actually see the spirit coming out of out of him and it knocked down some toilet paper so it's going to get rough it's going to get worse um they're going to start labeling people with adhd more uh mental illness like you know they're going to give people psychotropic drugs more and more knowing that there's going to be a high level of demon possession I, I didn't want to really get into that on a on a on a big on, on you know on a big issue, but basically when it comes down to the chemtrails, trees and all that they're dying off. They're dying off. That's our oxygen, people. Okay, you know you don't supposed to see every other tree dead. If you got ten tomato plants, or you sown in the ground ten tomato plants and only maybe four or five or even six, you know, bring forth fruit and, or, or, or vegetables, something wrong. That's not right. Something wrong with the soil as well. All right. I mean, there's, there's a plethora of documentaries that go into that. Even in Hawaii, they're having issues with uh, with the chemtrails. They do it at, at the horizon, the edge of the earth where you can't really see it. And then all of a sudden, the wind blows towards the air, you know, towards the uh towards the seashore then you got all these chemtrails everywhere it's, it's dangerous i mean that's why i talk about it you know it's not a game it's, it's really serious all right so that's all you know i wanted to get into um so there you have it uh look out for more videos uh i will be updating information um in reference to classes um if those of you that still want to participate uh just send an email so i can get the spreadsheet together for those who are so I can know who to send out worksheets to. All right, so just send you, you know, uh, I'll I'll post it at the bottom, uh, my email address. Uh, so it's julite07 at gmail.com, but I'll definitely post it on this video. So you can send me an email with, you know, you know, a name and uh, just an email address so I can send you the link and, uh, of course, there's going to be a small fee involved. That's just for uh, material and things of that nature. You know, we in this so-called 21st century and what makes things go round now is not a sheep, a cattle, <laughs> things of that nature. Maybe like a, you know, it, this. So we in this Gregorian 
time frame with America and, you know, currency. So, I mean, I just had to make that clear because people say, you're selling the gospel. I guess they need to think they can go to a Bible Christian store and get them a free Bible, right? Uh, it's got to, you know, I have to clear up everything nowadays. I see some stupid video. <laughs> CIA agent, Holy Vessel 34, selling the gospel. <laughs> All right, but I ain't going to get too goofy. I'm tired anyway. Shalom.